Guys, this is obviously going to be a different type of tech tip. We like to switch it up a little bit whenever we can, you know. Obviously, I'm not in the shop. I'm uh, just leaving this diner here up in Jersey. And uh, cause that's what you do in Jersey. You go to diners. I mean, it just makes sense, right? But we got some stuff to talk about. I think I got some good advice. Guess we're about to find out on this week's Tuesday Morning Tech Tip on Publicity Speed Shop. Jersey guys I swear it's the only place like in the whole world that if you want to go to a store that's like a half a block away you got to hit two jug handles make a u-turn in a parking lot and uh, well then when you get there you can't even pump your own gas they, they get mad about that all right I figured uh figured I'd show you my little home away from home for the last month and then a month before that the old Clarion Hotel and Convention Center Yo, we got something going on every night, right? Forget about it. But it's not what this is about, right? I was trying to find a place to do this video. Um, I went down by Seaside Heights, Jimbo. You'll appreciate that. But it was so windy and there was so many homeless people. No, I can't say homeless. Um, unhoused people. They were bums, right? Hobos, all right? Um, I said, nah, I don't want to do that, you know, but, uh, so I figured this dark parking lot that I'll probably get mugged in was a way better idea, but we did, we went down to Seaside Heights, we were driving around, talking to Megan the whole time, trying to figure out exactly how to do this, and guys, I clearly have no idea, that's why I'm in this dark parking lot, <laughs> so, uh, I'm actually walking to my room, I think I'm going to do the whole thing in the room, well, not the whole thing, because I'm doing part of it right now. And, uh, well, I don't know. Well, what are you going to do? Back here in old Tom's River and uh, going to a rental car. Fun fact, guys, fastest car in the world. What is it? It's a, it's a rental car. And actually, I had somebody tell me last night on the way home, nice guy, stopped and uh, told me that apparently it should take longer than an hour and 45 minutes to get to, my, to here from my mom's house. Nice guy, yeah. A lot of lights on his car and stuff. But uh, anyways, here we, we're over here at the old, uh, the old Camry, guys. Look at this over here. Huh? We got the Sports Edition. That's how you know it's good. And uh, going over here because I've got a bag. <laughs> Another thing about Jersey, guys. Uh, you got to buy bags. So here's my 37-cent bag. We're going to go in the, uh, in the room here, and I'll actually tell you what I want to talk about. Guys, this video has nothing to do with uh, the fact that, like, the Clarion has this amazing breakfast. And for some reason, picture of a lighthouse in every room. Nope, that's not it. In fact, guys, Seaside, Tom's River, Diners, whatever, Jersey. It has nothing to do with Jersey. It's just... I'm here. So that's why I mentioned it. This video has to do with priorities and uh, making the right decisions, you know? So, and it's not it's not what you think, guys. It actually don't got a whole lot to do with cars, <laughs> all right? Um, if you guys saw the last video, I might have been just a little bit distracted. I mean, more than usual, if that was even possible. Um, if you haven't seen it, go check it out, guys. It's pretty good. You know, I don't know. But uh, we um, work on a Suburban, right? And as you guys know, well, maybe you didn't, but I had a lot going on, right? Uh, I knew I was going to be up here for a month. I was already up here for a month. Um, you know, work was crazy in between and all that kind of stuff. You know, Power Tour is not getting further away. 
and uh, we, we're not ready. It's that simple. So, um, well, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about all that, trying to put a plan together, and I had a three-day weekend, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to be in the shop the whole weekend, and Megan's like, yeah, that's what you need to do. She's super supportive of it, right? She's like, just get it done. Cool, let's do that. So that was the plan, and as you guys know, you need to have a plan so you have something to deviate from. That's that's a fact. Well, during the week, um, we got a phone call that uh, a dear friend of mine, um, mentor, a brother, um, my friend Tim Coley, had uh, had passed away. Um, he was uh, said a mentor. He was. He was my master chief, like, back when I was a bit of a screw-up, and his, like, his leadership, man, he just, like, he, for whatever reason, <laughs> he was good. He, he spoke to me, and I actually listened and took his advice, and guys, if I didn't, I would not have ever gone nearly as far as I did in the military as I, as I, as I went, and, I, I mean, the job I have now and everything, I, I don't know that any of this would have been possible. And um, so, obviously, <laughs> I owe him an awful lot, right? Um, so, we got the call. I told Megan. Um, she knew him as well. Um, he came down. He was a guest speaker at my retirement ceremony. And, um, you know, we went to dinner. And, all, it was just, and we've kept in touch, you know, a lot. I saw him six, eight months ago, something like that. He had, he had been sick for a while. And um, that doesn't make it any easier, right? But... Um, and I'll tell you what, he didn't care. Till the end, this guy smiling his face, living his best life, out there just doing everything he wanted to do, which is awesome. The kind of guy he was, right? And uh, which is probably why so many people are like drawn to him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Guys, we, we so we like, hey, let's we're going. So obviously we jumped in the truck. We shot down North Carolina for the um, for the ceremony, you know, the funeral and ceremony and all that and military honors and, and everything. And uh Guys, unfortunately, I've been to a fair amount of funerals. Um, I've never been one to one before where the where, where the preacher couldn't hold it together. That's that's how you know you got a special person that you're talking about, you know. So um, it was beautiful, everything, and it was raining like a son of a bitch. But other than that, um, it uh, beautiful ceremony, right? But more importantly than that, I was able to talk to, I, I, I've known his wife for years. I didn't know his kids. Uh, one's in the Navy. And I got to meet both of them and share some stories about their dad because they actually were saying, like, they loved hearing stories about how their dad helped people and, and, and led them and mentored them and all that. I said, guys, I'm all the above and told them a couple stories and they, they loved hearing that stuff um, because... Military members, yeah, okay, we're sacrificing, we're doing things, we're good, whatever. Got it, right? The families, like, like the, the military members see what's going on and everything. Like, we got that instant gratification of, like, hey, we did something, right? The families don't have that. They just know mom or dad left for a while, came back. They don't know the differences that they made, right? So I know it, it felt good to see how much they appreciate that. And then actually just tell the stories. It's nice to tell, you know. So um, that's that's where we were. That's what we did. And we did not work on the Suburban. And I did not care one bit that I wasn't working on the Suburban. And that's where I need to be. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, we know Power Tour is getting closer and all this. And the, the, the you know the thing's not done. Um, I don't care. Right, so if I say, say worst case, I don't get the thing done, and we don't make it on power tour, I'm not 200 bucks. Who cares, right? Um, honoring somebody that means the world to you is uh, a lot more important than 200 bucks. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure you guys understand this, right? But I'm telling you all this to tell you this: we're not going to have a video on Friday because that's what I was planning on doing over the weekend, and. Uh, I knew you guys would understand, you know? So, and if you didn't, guys, I don't care. <laughs> right? And I, I, if you don't, 
if you don't understand, you're probably not watching this channel. So there's that. But, um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I was kind of thinking a little bit, like, afterwards, I was like, okay, damage control, I guess. How can we go ahead and, um, you know, figure something out here? And I was like, oh, you know what? There's always a car show up there, just one little ice cream spot. I'll film that for a nice little video. Oh, it's the weather. <laughs> it's been raining every, it's like every Tuesday. It's raining every Tuesday. So we'll see. Maybe this Tuesday it won't. We'll be finding out as you guys are watching this video. And um, if I can, I'll do that. I was planning on going home for a weekend. Um, our flight schedule had different plans. So there's that. So I have not been home for the month. And that's where we're at. Um, I was thinking, I was half thinking, um, you know, if you guys want, leave a comment, let me know. Like, for real, leave a comment, let me know. We we're thinking about maybe doing a live on Friday, but way before BWs, because I'm not trying to mess with the man over there, you know? But, um, so let me know if you think that's a good idea, if you guys want to watch that. But, uh, if not, that's fine. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll, uh. I'll be home working on the Suburban at this point, so we'll see what we can do because another thing, Tim would have wanted me to get it done. And I say that because that's what he pushed me to do. Finish stuff, get things done. That's kind of like where I got, not all of that, obviously. A lot of people in your life make all these different things, but he was that guy as well. So um, let me know what you think. Maybe we can do that. Um, but know this, guys. No regrets, man, at all. Um, we got to, we got to honor somebody, and that's what's important. So, I think you guys get that. We learned a couple things, guys. Um, number number one, we learned to always keep an umbrella in the truck. That's that's a big one. Uh, we learned to always put people first, because uh, there's nothing more important than that, you know. And uh, lastly, we learned that uh, I'm going to end this video because all these feelings and stuff is uh, starting to make my eyes sweat a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys.